Okay, the next command we're going to take a look at adjusts the spacing of our dimensions. For those of you, especially in mechanical drafting, you're going to absolutely love this command and you're going to want to use it all the time. Uh, it's probably not quite as vitally important for the basics of AutoCAD class, but just to be thorough for this basics of AutoCAD class, we're going to go ahead and, and go through this command just so that you understand how to use it and um, that it's available to you when you see the need to use it. So this is on the annotate tab of your ribbon. So come up to the ribbon, click on annotate, and it's going to be this adjust space. So go ahead and, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and draw this object with the dimensions given. And I'll go ahead and give you a minute to go ahead and do that. Okay, hopefully you already have it, you have the object drawn. I'm going to delete a few dimensions off of here. And then I want you to go ahead and create these other dimensions. So go ahead and take a minute to create these other dimensions and just place them anywhere in the drawing at all. Okay, so hopefully you've got these dimensions on there. Now we can start working with adjusting space. So with this adjust space, uh, you'll want your uh, you'll want one dimension that's already placed where you want it to be. So uh, as we've been talking in uh, mechanical drafting, this first dimension should be a distance of five eighths of an inch when printed off of the edge of our uh, object. And so if I measure that distance from that lower left hand corner to the end point of that arrow, that's going to be five eighths of an inch. Okay. So now that I've got that there. I can use my adjust space command to go ahead and line up the rest of these. So the way that works is if I click on adjust space, I look down in my command line, it says select base dimension. My base dimension is going to be this two inch dimension. And then it automatically switches and says select dimensions to space. I'm going to select all the rest of these. And since these are continuous dimensions, I want them all to be lined up together. I'm going to use a value of zero. Let's go ahead and type a zero in there and hit enter. And you'll see how it lines them all across there just like a continuous dimension would be. Okay, This works even better when you're using baseline dimensions. You can just go ahead and dimension the object, place those dimensions anywhere you want. Again, you'll want to get your first one placed exactly where you want it. And again, we're going to go from that lower left hand corner in this case and measure from there to this arrowhead we want that to be 5 eighths of an inch and so when we have that set we can use this adjust space command again so go ahead and click on adjust space you'll select your base dimension and you'll see after you click on base dimension down in the command line it says select dimensions to space space all the rest of them so you'll select the rest of them hit enter it'll ask you to enter a value for this auto will never work the way auto works is it takes your text height and takes it times two. And so our text height is an eighth of an inch. Take that times two. Our spacing is going to be a quarter of an inch. We know our spacing should be three eighths of an inch on a scale of one to one. So if you type in here 0.375, it will adjust the space. And now when you measure each of these spaces, those spaces will be three eighths of an inch, just the way you specified. So measure from arrowhead to arrowhead. And that's three eighths of an inch on every one of them. So I can see many of you using this a lot as you're working on your drawings, not only for basics of AutoCAD, but also for your mechanical drafting class also. And just uh, a side note for mechanical drafting, if you've got a scale that's different from one to one, then it's going to be that same uh, process that we've been doing for all these objects. And that's going to be, you're going to have to take that three eighths of an inch spacing and you're going to have to take it times whatever your scale factor is. And so say we're going to use three eighths of an inch spacing and a scale factor of two. We take three eighths times two to find out that our spacing should be three quarters of an inch. So then when we go to adjust our space under annotate, we'll select our base dimension. We'll select all of our other dimensions. And then you'll type in 
a spacing of 0.75 and it'll adjust those appropriately based on the scale factor you use for your drawing. So I think you'll find that command to be very useful in what you do in this classroom.